they're still like digging inside like the folders that exist in their brain and they're trying to they're trying to um draw that instead instead of the one that they're actually looking at there's this great book uh an actually dated one uh, i don't really so i don't really uh, this is this is the title of the book so drawing on the right side of the brain but i don't really think that right side left side brain thing isn't all that i think that um that concept is a bit speculative like uh scientifically speaking so uh, i just translated it into a more like a non-artist and an artist workflow or flow chart <clears throat> so you can um, search about this more they actually have like a video series about this um but quite old you can watch it it's still really fun to see um you're gonna see like um non-artists try to draw and then like have like such a big improvement uh in the span of like an hour or so because just uh because of just like thinking or allegedly thinking like an artist or thinking on their right side of the brain instead of the left side but anyway um this is how a uh, non-artist flowchart look like so or as the book would call it um the le- left side thinking so you start with um the stimuli or actual light information then you um um then it gets passed to your eye then you read it that uh, oh i have i have actually like translated it, this for like I guess more of like a computer thing um, to explain that a little bit better. So um, you won't find this in the book. <laughs> so you read it as like a dot concept, um, a dot concept uh, format. Then, oh, actually, you can't see it. So then, because of that, you go to the like um, the respective folder that where that where that concept lies so um if it's like oh you're looking at a dog so you go back to your like visual library then find um what like you think of uh when you think about a dog like the visual image when you think about a dog then uh, you try to compile that um visual information to an executable then you try to draw it then what turns out is um a symbol drawing so um you're not actually drawing things as they are so i guess you can uh explain it here so when i talk about i guess drawing an eye for example um a non-artist would draw it like this right and there's nothing wrong with that because that is an eye and when i ask like the person to draw a nose maybe something like this right so when um when you ask him to like draw a face maybe he'll draw something like this something like that right and that is kind of a face but um what's happening is um these are like symbols so when you think about a nose um the when you actually draw a nose you're supposed to draw a nose something like this so it's more subtle and when you draw an eye so it's supposed to look like something like this so i guess you can say it's a bit more detailed but at the same time for example when um when you ask someone to draw a person side view which is like done in the video which is pretty cool to see um when you ask them to draw the person on a side view so they'll draw it like this something like that but um the thing is um you can like this kind of drawing illustrates that you're not thinking about um uh, oh they they have references by the way so um they actually have a model that's sitting 
for them, side view, yeah, with them, and uh, they're trying to draw it on a canvas. So, what this illustrates is they're drawing a symbol because um, a, an eye from a side view, when you actually look at a person, looks like this. But, but, yeah, but they don't really understand. They're not absorbing that kind of visual information right in right in front of their face so because they have an actual live model right they're not absorbing that information they're still like digging inside like the folders that exist in their brain and they're trying to they're trying to um draw that instead instead of the one that they're actually looking at yeah <clears throat> so um how an artist would draw it so if or allegedly on the right side of the brain when you do right side thinking um so you start with the actual light information and the eyes but what happens next is um so you read this like um a non-artist would read it as like a, some sort of abstract concept right but they all they already read it like as a jpeg so they already understand that it's visual information then um instead of opening something inside their brain so instead of looking for symbols that exist already inside their head um they actually save that i guess it's more of uh yeah they actually save that in their head Temporarily, I guess, in I guess in in short term memory, then they use that into like uh they compile that visual information to actual um to an actual drawing. So um this is uh, mainly these this part is the difference between um how an artist would draw something and how like a beginner. Or a non-artist would draw something so um, what the book did or what the video did is um, they kind of hacked it or I guess they kind of cheated so instead of um, changing your brain because like obviously that's hard that's gonna take some relearning there we're going to change for now what we're actually looking at so instead of something or like a model um we're gonna look at a grid normally you use a grid for uh portrait drawings stuff like that you can also do grids for more um i guess when you need to be a bit more um accurate in your drawings because um portrait so here something like this uh, people set it up so that um, um, they can be more accurate into what they're drawing and what this does is um, it goes into your eyes right but then because you're seeing the grid and not the actual model you th you take it as visual information instead of um you take it as like an actual object so if say you're drawing an eye um you're not seeing an eye you're seeing like the shapes of an eye if that makes sense yeah so um then the same thing with um the same thing with uh, an artist where um reads it as visual information you save that into short-term memory then you draw that so um that's what happens so um i guess you can uh, for beginner artists you can rely on the grid when you're drawing from reference but mainly it's um i see it at least as uh it's mainly like training wheels so um you're not you're not supposed to use a grid because um when you're like very when you're professional and like doing all these kinds of things um setting up a grid and um doing them one by one actually takes more time than just relying on um your actual your actual flow chart 
you know so um you don't usually um use a grid when you're like really experienced but still uh, for beginner artists this is really valuable because it's like hijacking your brain you're not thinking of it as uh, yeah it's kind of cool so anyway um this is where we start with the demo the main thing why a grid works is um, because of how you use a grid so um you're not gonna draw uh, say when you set up a grid you're not gonna draw like um all over because that's not how you use a grid you use a grid um like this so you take it like one by one so so this is like box one right now. let's make uh this is a box one so and this is box one on our canvas nothing's there so i don't have to draw anything there but when i go to box three um there's this shape right here oh there's this shape right so i'm gonna copy that on our box so i'll do this kind of line then you do you then you like you're kind of doing it like a scanner how a scanner would take it so um then you go about it um like filling in each box um as you go along then for example um i guess in the eye in this case I'm not thinking about the line, the the eye anymore, right? I'm thinking, I'm thinking about shape. So I see this negative shape. I mean, yeah, I see this kind of shape around the eye. I see um, this shape around the eye. I see this shape. Then when I fill that in, um, I'll ed I'll eventually get to a point where since I got the shapes correct, um, the final image would look like an actual eye so um that, that's like the power of like using grids 